Hello again, everybody. I'm the coach, and this is Madden Ultimate Team. Hope you're ready, because we've got another good one on tap. It's an old school battle in the Keystone State of Pennsylvania. The Eagles and the Steelers are underway. A fairly short kick from the 14. And able to get this out to the 25. Start here with Jackson, and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Second and six, just inside the 30. There's Wilson to throw. That's complete to Ward. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Wilson. He'll get this to his tight end. That's Pat Fryermuth. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. On second down, this is Jackson. Trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. Not enough there for a first. No gain as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. Heavy set out there on third and one. Again, it's Jackson as he'll stay on the ground. And he gets this one across midfield for the first down to the 46. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 46. Now a handoff inside, it's Jackson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Now Wilson. Got a man, it's Randy Moss complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 35. the middle they go with a big back Jackson and this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage he'll lose a yard there and it's second and 11 now Wilson a quick throw knocked away and incomplete they'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage because he just did it on that one force the incompletion that allowed me to get bolder with his pass rush won't it absolutely frees up your guys elsewhere and a pretty nice tackle there ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short they'll get 10 there but it leaves him just short for fourth down Sports. They'll try and run for it, and he's not going to get there. Might have even lost a yard. 
He only needed a yard, but he couldn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. And on the opening drive of the afternoon, the defense forces a turnover on downs. Phillies offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Looked like both sides were anticipating a quick throw there, and the defense was ready to jump in and deny it, and they did. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Hurt sets up to throw it. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. 20! Touchdown, Philadelphia! Devontae Smith, 73 yards. And the Eagles post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. After a fairly uneventful first quarter, that last play, that'll make a few highlight clips. It certainly will, and you're exactly right. The first quarter almost felt like a feeling out process, didn't it? Both teams, okay, what are we gonna do? Looks like they ramped things up just a little bit to start the second quarter. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and it's now a seven nothing game. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it was finished off by a touchdown from Devontae Smith. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. They've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't even want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they've set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of anger. They run on first down with Jackson, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. In on the tackle there, Ray Nitsky, and his heyday, it was before my day, it was before your day, but he was something else. You can, I, look, I can still see that 6'6 six, six on his jersey and him rattling running backs and getting after quarterbacks. He used to wrap his forearms up, and he just had the big flipper and come up and thump people in the <laughs> chest. He was an absolute marvel playing in the linebacker position, especially right there in the middle. A Hall of Famer in 1978, and deservedly so. Now, quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Ward. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. It's a Pittsburgh first down, a gain of 13. From the gun, it's Wilson. That's complete to Calvin Johnson. So the completion good for just three. And that'll make it second down. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Now it's Wilson. Open man, that's the tight end, Fryermuth. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Forced out to his left. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, thrown back across his body. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. A throw he probably shouldn't have made, rolling left and then throwing back across the field. 
And when you do that and you're rolling towards the sideline, you've cut down your field in a big way significantly. And the guys who play in the second and third level, those linebackers and DBs, they know that. And they know they don't have nearly as much space to cover. And they're hoping you try and throw them back towards the middle. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. And that is how you respond after taking one on the chin to begin this game. Give up a first drive touchdown, go back out on defense, and completely shut them down to force a three and out. And they're going to fake it from deep in their own territory. And he's going to let it go deep. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. And now the football is going to go over, already being placed at the 15-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there is no space available and incompletion as a result. To throw again on second down. Wilson, he'll get this to Ward. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Wilson now to throw on third down. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Asante Samuel Jr. And the Eagles are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. And that felt like a little extra pressure on that third down attempt, and their mistake cost them points because they're inside the red zone. So you know you've got at least a field goal waiting for you. And in this case, they end up with nothing. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. Hurts. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Yeah, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. They'll try again from the 20 on second and 10. Here's Hurts to throw. Being chased out left. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Ready. The Steelers now in the nickel here on third down. Throwing his hurts. This is Smith with a grab. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Devontae Smith in the final seconds of the first half. And the Eagles will extend their lead here just before halftime. Tucker with the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. So just eight ticks remaining here in the first half as they'll kick this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. No 
reason to do anything foolish as they'll snap it one more time on first down. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. And now a timeout defensively after that first down play. So they're going to make this offense sweat out half number one. With a white flag coming out as they line up to kneel on it. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. Well, time is of the essence. We breeze through halftime, and we are ready for the second half. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. Fielded right around the eight. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. It's Devontae Smith and the Eagles ready to go on offense. Not a bad day at the office there. Maybe he would like the catch number to go up a little bit, but I think most guys would say two catches, two touchdowns. Eh, that's okay. I think if the catch number goes up, we start talking about the record books because at that pace, this type of efficiency, oh, yeah, I think I'd throw it to him a little bit more often. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. The second quarter starts off with a bang as they snag over 30 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. From the gun, it's Hurts. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. Second and 10 now. Third quarter action from Philadelphia, PA. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. That's going to be caught. Touchdown. Mike Ditka. 32 yards. And the Eagles come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and it's now 21 to nothing. Just a four-play drive that time, and it was capped off by an Eagles touchdown. Kick it away following the touchdown. A fairly short kick from the 14. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Yeah, yeah, we dominate today. Time for the Steelers offense now to get set for their first possession of half number two. They'll begin the drive with Jackson on the ground. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. The last run got six, now second and four. To throw is Wilson. And Wilson's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Well, I mean, you get it. They're trying to make something happen here in this third quarter, CD, but I don't think a pick six is exactly what they had in mind. No, not at all, because this offense haven't dented the scoreboard yet, and they're kind of forced to take a few chances here, and that one, it backfired in a big way. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. 
Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. So the completion good for six yards, and that will bring up second down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. From the 44, Wilson. That's complete to his tight end, Fryermuth. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. To throw again is Wilson. Got a man complete, Calvin Johnson. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 40. 14 yards through the air. Caught the D off guard on third and one. Nothing in that first half, nothing on the last drive, but they're moving now with a first and 10. Wilson. Again, it's Johnson. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Working with a second and three. Now it's Wilson. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. Wilson. He's got his tight end, Fryermuth, right side. He's going to have the first down, and more than that. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. It'll be first and goal when we come back. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. Just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. Reggie White showing his strength and quickness there. A loss of four. Second and goal from the six this time. Throwing is Wilson. And that is caught. Well, they're going to see this one at the end. They get a score, but pretty much an exercise in futility right now. Still down big. So they will get on the scoreboard here. Give them credit for that. Too little, too late, but no zero. Oh, you, you're going slow clap on me. <laughs> Not very nice, is it? No, but they haven't been very nice on offense. It's been a struggle. Extra point by York is up and good. And it's now a 28-7 ball game. And the Eagles hands team able to cover it up. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation, and now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But, yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. 34 yards there at a first down. Muscle damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Now McCoy. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. LaShawn McCoy taking it in from seven yards away. And the Eagles have opened up a four-touchdown lead here in the fourth. We know that the big guys won't get the credit, Brandon, but we also know that that touchdown belongs to them. Excellent job of clearing the way for their running back. Tucker now to add the point after.
And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Hardly any time taken off the clock there. Two plays, and they find the end zone for six points. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Steelers' offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. From the shotgun, Wilson. Eluding, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ballgame. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. We got four. We got four. There's Wilson. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by nine-time pro bowler and Reed. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Well, what has been a fantastic game for this defense has been rough for this offense. And certainly a signal caller, Charles, that's thrown all these interceptions. Another one there, and this one taken all the way back for the score. Partner hoping to hold a nice little spot in the postgame highlights to show this rip of interceptions and great plays this group has made. They've been on it from snap one. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And a short kick taking it about the 16. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Uh, CD, it's all window dressing at this point. I mean, the best they can do is end the game with a nice drive to maybe build some momentum to move forward into their next contest. Yeah, and with how lopsided this game has been, even one score might not do a lot of cosmetic good on the scoreboard, partner, because it's just about looking forward at this point. Get a touchdown here, give yourself some positive momentum and reps to focus on when you get back to practice in the next couple of days. Second and ten, it's Wilson again. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Johnson. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. A gain of 10, good for a Steeler first down. Operating from the gun, Wilson. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. 
But with this advantage, this defense knew that passes were coming, and they stayed in position, Charles, and picked one off here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, what a way to cap things off, huh? Because I think this is part of the game within the game. They see the scoreboard, they see what they can accomplish, and they went for it. 42 yards rushing for him now to this point. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They'll go again to McCoy. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Well, this is long since over, and some might see this as overkill, but remember, this is a team that puts on the hard hats, grabs the lunch pail, and tells everyone, we're going to give you a full 60 minutes, and that's exactly how they're playing this one out. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And a short kick taking it about the 16. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. Don't forget today. <laughs> Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal. And never forget it because... You're not going to want that feeling no, again. No, you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may meet up with this team again. And he's out of bounds. Able to take this one up to the 35. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and one, Wilson. And my goodness, another interception. Darius Slay with a pick. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead, and it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them, play it straight, do all the right things, but these guys are going to be free willing now. All of them are going to take chances, and that one pays off with an INT and a return for six. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And they'll be backed up a bit to start as he's out of bounds at the 16. And that final kickoff concludes the ball game, partner, and one side a really nice win in this one. They were good on offense and on defense. And I'm guessing in the other locker room, partner, the head coach is just telling this team, hey, we didn't play well enough to keep it close enough where that one possession down the stretch might have given us an opportunity to win the game. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan.
This has been Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Join the discussion on Twitter at EA Sports underscore M-U-T. The Eagles are winners here as we say so long from Philadelphia.